In the land of Isis, there seems to be an incessant need to document everything the group does, as if they were stars of a reality show of their own making. No event or instance seems to escape the gaze of the camera. They film their convoys through towns. They film themselves burning cigarette cartons. In these photos, fighters celebrate themselves by posing on tanks and planes. Everyone in ISIS apparently wants their 15 minutes of fame. There are countless self-congratulatory testimonials from members exalting the group and the fact that they joined it. O oh, you who believe, answer the call of Allah and His Messenger when He calls you to what gives you life. And even those who behead people on camera get screen time. In ISIS's latest video, the executioners are all filmed in close-ups. Recruiting videos filmed in soft focus purport to show how blissful things are in ISIS's home base of Raqqa, Syria. This member claims life in the so-called caliphate is one big party. I'm not here in the Khilafah, as you can see, there's a big party going on. ISIS has commanded Muslims everywhere to obey them, but that seems unlikely. A recent poll from the Doha Institute showed a majority of Arabs oppose ISIS and support airstrikes on the group. The group publishes magazines and newsletters about itself, featuring story after story chronicling how well it's doing caring for the sick and executing non-believers. Recently, ISIS put out a 60-minute movie about itself. It's called The Flames of War, and the plotline attempts to glorify ISIS's battlefield exploits and promote the group's ease with committing atrocities. This is the end of every Nusayri kafir that we get a hold of. The movie also uses slow motion effects to make war look cool, like an action sequence from a Hollywood production. The group is planning to have its own currency, minted by its own treasury. Why? It's to avoid the satanic global economic system. ISIS puts up billboards about itself in a city that it controls. This self-promotional signage hypes the group's progress and prowess. They say things like, we will win despite the global coalition. The group has put out videos hyping its technique of digging trenches and caves to hide in, as if this were some kind of revolutionary battlefield tactic. ISIS says it has a Department of Research and Development, though that grand-sounding name doesn't quite match the images, which depict a machine shop used for bomb making. Whether all this hubris will lead ISIS to implode is hard to say, but one thing's clear. Its self-promoting propaganda machine shows no signs of slowing down.